In this video, I'll go over how to create a button in your sheet and to link it to run a macro in LibreOffice Calc. As a bonus, I'll be answering a viewer's question on how to recalculate random numbers by clicking on a button. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. This channel has plenty of tutorials and nifty videos on how to use Calc software. To add a button, first we need to use form controls. We'll go to the view in the menu and under toolbars, make sure that form controls is selected. If yours already shows, then you'll see a selected checkbox next to it. For now, I'll click once. And now this toolbar shows up for me. In order to add the button, now I want to click on the design mode icon here. And the push button would be this icon, which looks like a enter key. So I'll click it once, and then depending on which cell you want the button to appear in, you'll go ahead and click and drag within the cell. Now that I released it, we see the button here with a default label of push button. In order to change how this looks, we can right click on this. And first, I'll recommend that under anchoring, we can have it anchored to cell or resize with the cell. So before I choose that, let me show you what happens if I resize a column. For right now, if I make the column width larger, we see that the button size doesn't change at all. And if I push down the row from row 5 or row 4, the button kind of just stays put on the same position on my screen. And it doesn't move around at all. So let me just move this back. So right now, it looks like the button is in cell B6. Now let me right click and I'll anchor it to the cell. Now if I resize, we see that the button gets larger and a little bit taller. What's also important is if I increase the height of row 5, now the position will move down and so it doesn't end up being in some other cell on accident. Now, if I wanted the button to fill the whole cell, I would just right click on the button and choose fit to cell size. So now we see it actually fit the cell for me. And if I resize the cell, it kind of just stays the way it is. Now to customize it further, we can change the font and the colors. So here, going down to the background color, I just choose something like light gold. And we can see the change in real time. In the font, we can click this extra button. And now we have a dialog that shows up. I'll change the font color. And for underlining, make this color like so. But we have a preview down here of how it would look. So this is under font effects. I could go to the font, make the font larger, and I can make this bold. Okay. So now we see here the push button is a lot larger and you probably have better color or design styles than I do. So don't laugh too hard at my button. And if we wanted to change the label, we can do that like this. Just change the text. And after I close, the changes are in effect. Now right now, if I click the button, nothing happens. What I need to do is assign a macro to it. So back in control properties in the events tab, there are a lot of options where we can assign a macro to. These are all sort of based on actions or behaviors. So the easiest is the execute action. We can click this extra icon here and we see a dialog. And this is a little redundant, but I want to now assign a macro to the execute action. So I'll click the macro button. This opens up the macro selector dialog and I've already created a few macros to use. You may or may not have any macros. So if you have none, you'll need to create one. And I'll put a link in the video description on how to get started with macros. Right now, I'll just pick basic hello macro, which will show a pop up message. And I'll click OK. I'll close. Now, if I click the button, still nothing happens. And the reason is even if my macro is linked, I need to exit out of designer mode. I'll click to deselect it. And then now I can use my mouse and click around like usual. And now that I click the button, I see my hello message. Now for the security aspect, if we save our changes 
and close the sheet and open it back up. Depending on your security settings, it'll show this security warning. Because I trust this document I created myself, I do want to enable the macros. The point of that is sometimes when you download from the internet or you're not sure where that file came from, it's better to be safe than sorry and don't enable macros. But if you wanted to change the macro security settings, we can go to tools, options, under LibreOffice, click security, and there's a section for macro security. Now we have a dialog that opens up. Right now I have it on medium. It's probably best practice to make it either high or very high. Now if we do that, make sure that in the trusted sources tab, you have to add a specific file location or folder and then put your spreadsheet into that folder. That would be the way where macro will work when you just open it up in LibreOffice Calc. But if you leave it at medium, that just means you'll probably see the macro security dialog ask you to either enable or disable. So that's macro security in a nutshell. Now to answer a viewer question, from a previous video I did, Mystic the Ninja asks, Can I create a button on a cell which functions as a hotkey? I want a button I can quickly push that functions as Control Shift F9, which is the recalculate sheet hotkey for use with a RAND between. Thank you. So what he's asking about the recalculate is that under data menu and calculate, there's recalculate and recalculate hard. He specifically wants this one. And there is a keyboard shortcut to use it, but he wants a button to do it instead. And we'll test that out. So with the rand between function, in short, this function generates random number between what I put in from 1 to 70. And if I press F9, we see that the number recalculates and gives me a different random number. So I can have this try and give me more random numbers at once. Here I have five, I could do 10 or as many as I want to fill the sheet. If I press F9, all the numbers are recalculated. In order to do this with a button, as you might have guessed, we would use a macro. So back to design mode, I'll go to the button and under the control properties, I'll switch the macro that I signed. Instead of the hello macro, I have a specific macro called recalculate sheet and I'll show the code. It's really simple for right now. I click OK and then exit out of here. Then when I click the button, we see that the numbers have recalculated and to view the code, we'll go to tools, macros, organize macros, basic, and then clicking on my macro, I'll choose edit. Now opens up the LibreOffice basic IDE. Here's my macro and we see this is actually the code. It's just the start of the macro and the line of code is this component dot calculate all. It's just a command to do a recalculation on all the spreadsheets in the file. So if any of you use this to generate lottery numbers and you actually win some money, don't forget the one who made this all possible is LibreOffice Calc, of course. So if you do tell your get rich quick story, make sure to mention Calc. Otherwise, if you have questions on how to create macros, check the video description below. And also I'll link to another video I made about using checkboxes. And thank you guys for asking questions. I appreciate them. And of course, your comments. Have a great day. And as always, stay nifty.